Morton neuroma, also known as interdigital neuralgia, is the topic. Essentially, it's a pain involving the interdigital nerve. And the best way to talk about this initially is to look at a diagram. So here we have, obviously, the diagram of the foot and looking at it from the bottom, the plantar view. And the first thing I'll uh, label here are these bones, which are the third and fourth metatarsal bones. And this uh, is the most common location for Morton's neuroma. It's the third interspace. And traveling in between these two bones is a nerve. And that nerve is represented in the yellow here. And it is known as the interdigital nerve. Now, what happens is uh, these nerves can travel to the toes and they innervate the toes distally. Now, with chronic repetitive trauma, this nerve can develop a thickening. And when it does, it develops into a neuroma, which essentially is a benign tumor of this uh, interdigital nerve. And that uh, benign tumor leads to the symptoms of Morton's neuroma. So why does this happen? Well, the most common reason is, interestingly, improper footwear. And then what happens, basically, is chronic repetitive trauma it makes that uh, interdigital nerve thicken. And with time, it can develop into a full-blown neuroma. Now, some of the signs and symptoms, basically, initially, it starts off as an ache, and then eventually the pain worsens. And with time, you can develop this burning or piercing uh, quality to the pain, lancinating, they call it, piercing, stabbing. And then sometimes uh, a person can also describe feeling uh, uh, like a pebble in their shoes. Uh, that's uh, sometimes referred to in clinical vignettes. Um, they probably are sensing that neuroma. And uh, this uh, can be also looked at in a physical diagnosis where you can palpate that area on the plantar uh, aspect of the foot. And when you palpate it will reproduce that burning pain. And then there's one other uh, sign. It's called a molder sign. And what that is is basically when you uh, squeeze that space, you basically hear a click. So that's essentially a diagnosis is really just a clinical evaluation. There's no real imaging test necessary. So how do you treat it? The treatment basically involves three uh, things. The, the first two are more commonly done and the third one is only if necessary. The first one, of course, is modification of the footwear. The second one is an injection um, into the area, either a, a local anesthetic or a corticosteroid. Most commonly will help with the pain. And then the, the third and final one, if necessary, is some sort of a surgical procedure um, that can be uh, done if if required, they can excise the nerve uh, in the area of the neuroma. So let's take a look at some uh, clinical vignettes, see what this looks like in a patient presentation. 45-year-old woman who wears a high-heeled, pin-pointed shoes complains of pain in the forefoot after prolonged standing or walking. Occasionally, she experiences numbness, a burning sensation, and tingling in the area. Physical exam shows no obvious deformities in a very tender spot in the third interspace between the third and fourth toes. There is no redness, limitation of motion, or signs of inflammation. What is the most likely diagnosis? Well, this question uh, has all the elements to it. It has the fact that she's wearing the type of shoes that can cause Morton's neuroma. It's uh, not only is it describing pain, but it's also describing that burning sensation. And then it's also uh, described the exact location 
that Morn's neuroma occurs, which is between the third and fourth toes and the third interspace. So without a doubt, it's uh, choice D. And then finally, a 46-year-old woman presents with chief complaint of pain in her toes. She describes it as an ache that occurs more when she wears any of her many shoes that are too narrow at the front. The pain is only on her right foot. Initially, she states that she did not feel it was that severe, but now the pain has become worse, often with a burning or lancinating quality. She even describes a sense of there being a pebble in her shoe. On physical exam, there is tenderness on plantar palpation of the interdigital space. Which of the following initial recommendations would be most appropriate for this patient? Well, again, a classic case of Norton's neuroma. Well, of the three things, the the last one being surgery, the second one being a um, injection of either anesthetic or corticosteroid, and the first one being just changing your shoes, changing shoes uh, or having some kind of uh, more appropriate footwear or insoles uh, that can be uh, used that will help alleviate this problem. And of the answer choices, that would be just choice A.